This is our ninth year. In First Lego League, for the World Tournament, there was 84 slots, and worldwide there was 10,607 teams. And so this was definitely a, an incredible, incredible opportunity that all the teams were truly winners. Just walking in the door, you just felt the excitement and the anticipation Oh, my team is so great. Yeah, we still get on each other's nerves a lot, but we are more of a team than just separate people. And now we can witness everybody's strengths, and we can, we can notice how they can do it to the best of their efforts, and it's really cool together. The judging was, that was the part I was really fretting, like afraid about or scared about because I'm shy and I don't like coming into people I've never met and talking to them about something that I've rehearsed so much because I'm afraid I might mess up or something. And then I noticed that the judges, they were really nice. They were smiling about everything they said. They were really into it. And they were, they did, I could tell they really were really impressed. I learned a lot about uh, some of the building principles of, of, uh, of Legos. I also learned a lot about the uh, physics of hydro dams, wind turbines, etc. The, the Japanese team, they were all like, that and I was like, ah, that's freaking me out, don't do that. Because I mean, nobody's ever done that to me and I'm like, why are you burying me? I'm not anybody special, don't do that. Well, that's what I wanted to say, but they were all really friendly and nice. This is the coolest thing I have ever done as an educator. Absolutely the most fantastic. Their hope is to instill in kids that even though you are competing, even though you want to win something, absolutely. Nobody came here not wanting to win. They want them to understand that it is about more than just the winning. There is a gracious professionalism. There is a, truly a gift, truly a gift in the very fact that we have been able to come together to do this and to give back, to give to other teams, to give to your coaches, your mentors. They gave away very special and memorable awards to volunteers. Um, because you can't, you, it's not just about the kids. It's not just about the kids performing. It's about everybody who took part to make something this enriching, uh, this fabulous come together so these kids could be here all together from different countries in such a joyful and yet competitive environment. If anybody didn't cry, some point in this closing ceremony, they're made of steel because that room packed full of it had to be in a thousand rooms of kids so happy, so full, so uh, knowing what they've done. And they start off by saying, You all are winners you, just by getting here, just the fact that you're here. You're all winners. My name is Richard Stork, I'm the head referee in Ohio, and I'm down here being just a referee. Um, for the FLL. The best thing I can say is regardless of how you do on the competition tables or in the judging rooms, you're going to learn something. You're going to take something away from here that is going to be beneficial for the rest of your life. It's not about the final score, it's about what you learn. And it's what you take away from this competition that will be your biggest prize. Our culture tells kids, particularly women and minorities, that all the fun, exciting jobs are in Hollywood or in sports. And we said, let's turn science and technology into an entertaining sport. And then all these kids are going to see that science, engineering, problem solving, building, creating, 
are every bit as fun, rewarding, and accessible as any other skill set they put their passion to. It's way more fun to create a solution to a problem than learn how to bounce a ball. So we put first together, and then it started filtering down to the younger kids, so we needed First Lego League for the little kids. It's like if you took a Nintendo Wii and made it into a competitive tournament event and made it interact with the community, FLL would be it. We're teaching kids how to solve problems, how to deal with a very complex global world. They're in a microcosm of the real world of engineering. And in the real world of engineering, competition isn't about defeating the other guy. Competition is about the best of the best working together so that all society wins. And we can't live in a world where people are destroying each other. We have to deal with a world where everybody's building off each other's expertise and the, the knowledge of all the generations before us. So it's important in our case not only to teach them how to compete, but how to compete in a cooperative, supportive way so that the world wins. Oh. The hopes for the future are right out there on this floor. You can't see them, but if you look at these kids, that is the hope for this future. We are inspiring a future generation of scientists, of engineers, of decision makers and leaders. That is the hope for this, and I would like to reach out to every child we can possibly reach to so that they can have this experience and know that they can be a part of the big game. They can be the part of making those kinds of decisions that make this world a better place to live. We would really like to see that as a worldwide phenomenon in all countries. Uh, all children in that age group having that opportunity to develop their skills and to, to be creative and being working together in a team. It gives the young children a fantastic self-confidence order to take part in this experience. So I think this is something that we could only hope will be worldwide. <laughs> so wherever I go, I just tell people, try it, see what it's like to solve a problem, to create a solution, or to teach somebody else just how possible that is. And it's an amazing experience. You know, I think half the reason uh, you know, people uh, do this is it's fundamental to being human, to try to do the unexplored, to answer big questions, to wonder why something happens. And playing in First Lego League lets you jump in is starting to understand how to deal with and answer questions like that. And it just makes everybody happy.